I'd have been far less stressed about this if you told me I was going to be following the poo guy. But uh, <laughs> anyhow. Um, so anyway, I'm the new guy, or relatively. I've been coming for about a month now, and uh, Derek asked me to come up with a title for this. I qu couldn't come up with anything quite as innovative as pawn boarding, but um, anyhow. Um, but I couldn't help but think about where I was five years ago, and I wasn't here, but five years ago, I lost my father, and obviously, if anyone who's lost a parent, you know that gets you thinking about big questions and things along those lines. In my case, my father was always one who says, always ask the biggest question you know how to ask, and his personal mentor was Buckminster Fuller, so who he called the Leonardo da Vinci of the, 21st, of the 20th century. So anyone who does, doesn't know about him, I urge you to find out about him. Anyway, one of the things he always said was, you never change the... You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. And so certainly, when I, for me, when I think about big questions as a technology person, it's usually something along the format of how do I make the old system obsolete? How do I replace it with something that makes more sense for today? And certainly, if you're like me, we look around and we see so many things that are more or less that they should be obsolete. Why aren't these obsolete? And that's kind of what we're doing here in my idea, my brief idea, that's what we're doing here at Chi Hack Night is coming up with ideas and coming up with solutions to make the stuff obsolete. Anyhow, my answer to that is usually we're try we build technology that empowers individuals and that's usually the answer and that's usually kind of what we're doing here. So that's, that's kind of my idea of what Chi Hack Night is about. So now as far as how I got involved in Chi Hack Night and what I'm doing, there's a, a project that's been on here. It's been called the Witness Slips Project and so forth. We now have a new name. We're now legislated. And so, to getting back to the sort of the theme here, today we're filling a current need, a very specific need in terms of witness slips and dealing with just the mess of a web disaster that the state put together for this, pro for this project. So you can, at certain times, you can contact people and let them know what your thoughts in terms of what, you know, for bills that are going into committee and stuff, but it's a really nasty process right now. I don't want to scare anyone off, but it's certainly convoluted. Uh, you have to go a bunch of different websites, do a bunch of different, like four or five different Google searches just to figure out what bill you're, si you're signing on and, what it, and where it is and so forth. So to try and share that via social media or try and do anything to communicate it is complicated. So we're trying to build a solution that solves that problem by making it far easier, give somebody a website that, or, or an app that gives them one place to go, a simple way to search through them, find out what's going on, and link them straight through over to, to filling them out. And hopefully also notifying people when, you know, when the right time is to do it because it's a very limited window of time. Uh, five years from now, as we're kind of moving forward, and that's where we have the name legislated, we're looking at doing, um, you know, doing a lot more bigger process, because this is just one small piece of the legislative process. We want to do a lot more to that. Um, so that we want to streamline access all the way across, let people know what's going on and when, how to provide, you know, what's, what's the context around certain bills, is this something that's just a partisan bill that's coming up over and over just to, just to, get, just to score political points, or is it something that's actually going to pass, is it something that, that can't, has a chance to impact, so forth. So much context, who's pushing it, is this ACLU, NRA, you know, ALEC written, whatever, you know, trying to get more context around some of the stuff and try and engage people at various places. Or is it time to fill out the slips because going into committee? Is it time to call your rep? Is it time to go to a town hall because they're back home? Is it time to vote? If we can tie all this together, it's a slightly different approach than a lot of the other things like callable and stuff are doing. So we think it's a unique approach and, and a neat way to try and get people engaged and keep them engaged throughout the process on specific bills that they're interested in rather than just when it gets media attention. And then the last thing, you know, it, which is more or less a, a dream, but it'd be nice to create instead of having the current process where people go into committee and outcome these bills that may make sense, may not make sense, if we can do something that creates a little bit more engagement for legislators that want to find out how this might impact people in their areas to try and even use something to have a little bit more back and forth regarding how that legislation should look. Uh, lastly, I wanted to just provide a quick, you know, quick introduction to myself and some of the stuff that, that I do, more as a way of in case this is something that might be interesting to people here. Um, I'm a software developer for a group called Safe Community Institute. We build, uh, basically it's a breathalyzer solution for law, for, for law enforcement that allows people to be on probation instead of being in prison. So a lot of stuff, um, a lot of software that I'm dealing, working with, software designed for alcoholics, software, de you know, software dealing with, that's got to, you know, fill things for, deal with judges and probation officers and those types of things, and, and police officers on the back end. It's a unique little uh, ch space in terms of who all the people are we're working with and how we're working with. Currently, we're working on just the basic, just the monitoring tool. 
the hope is that down the road we'll be able to evolve this in, from something that moves from an enforcement approach to more of a disease treatment approach. Anyway, that's my quick introduction. Thanks.